In this video, we'll discuss how to conserve sins while treasure hunting, but first, if you're interested in joining the Upland Metaverse, be sure to use the bonus referral link in the description below to claim your 50% Upix bonus with your first purchase. Upix is the in-game currency for Upland, and you can earn a bonus of up to 50,000 Upix just by using the referral link. So check the description below and the Upland website for more details. And be sure to join the Upland Treasure Hunters Facebook group where we focus specifically on treasure hunting. You'll find a link in the description below. At the time of making this video, Upland allows players to collect 80 cents per day. You can also get a replenishment of up to 3 cents per day. But remember, you can only hold 11 cents at any one time. A Treasure Hunter's mission is to get the most hunts out of your daily cents. This is accomplished by knowing the treasure hints, accurately estimating distances, poking around for as much information as possible, and tracking the sends you collect. The more accurate you are with sending during each hunt, the less sends you'll use during a hunting session. And those send fees can really add up. Let me show you what I mean. So I put this spreadsheet together just to show you the impact of how much you can save by conserving what you spend on landing fees. So let's just say that your average sends per hunt is 3.5. Okay, it's pretty good for the average hunter. Some, av some people have much lower averages. Some average more than four. But I'm saying 3.5 hunts per session. 24. That's probably pretty good if you're conserving, right? You can get 24 hunts per session. Sessions per week. Let's say you have four times a week that you get in your 24 hunts. So basically, you're doing almost 100 hunts a week, right? So if we take a look at a year of doing that, 208 sessions per year. So almost 5,000 hunts per year. It's a lot of hunts. Let's say that your average send fee is 30 Upix, right? So the other way it's costing you 30 Upix to land on a property every time you send. Your total per session is going to be 2520. So about 2500 Upix, $2.52 in real dollars. Let's say that your average is 50 Upix per landing, right? Now you're talking about 4200 per session. Here's how this adds up. Let's push this out to a year. So if you were to average 30 Upix per landing, you put that out to a year by doing this much, this much hunting, you're spending 524,000 Upix just on landing fees, okay? If you're more towards the high side of 50 Upix per landing, now you're 873,000 Upix per year. Let's take a look at this. So basically, if you're able to get closer to 30 on average, I always look for 20 in the Bronx, right? But if you're able to get 30 on average and you're really cautious about where you land, you can save this kind of Upix every year. That's a lot of Upix. You know, that's basically $349, right? Or $30 a month in savings. So this is why it's so important to poke around and look for cheaper landing spots. One thing to keep in mind is that these techniques are meant more for standard treasure hunts where you have a five minute clock to find the treasure. With competitive hunts, the object is to find the treasure as fast as possible. And while I try to conserve during competitive hunts, I'm not concerned with what sends cost or how many I use to find those limited, exclusive, rare, and special treasures. I figure I'll make it up by using as few sends as possible while I'm standard treasure hunting during cooldown periods. Owning properties in your hunting city of choice will help you conserve sends as well, of course. You can send your block explorer to your own property without using a send or paying any send fees. There are many times I found a treasure by only landing on my own properties. For example, in this treasure hunt, I was able to find the chest with zero sends. Yeah, sure, that's very lucky, but it can happen. And you can also collect sends that are close to your property without wasting a send to find it. This takes some time, but it helps you get more hunts in per session. Conserving sends will definitely help you treasure hunt in cities where you don't own property. In tip number five, we discussed third-party tools that can help you find clusters of sends that you can scoop up economically. Also, you should always be on the lookout to pick up sends during a standard treasure hunt. After you found a treasure, check to see if your block explorer is heading towards a send. Give it some time and pick it up. A method I use to conserve sends is to try to identify if I'm on the edge of a hint. For example, on this hunt, while poking around, 
I discovered that my block explorer was on the edge of these two hints, which tells me the treasure is very likely 200 meters away in that direction. Anytime you can pinpoint a treasure like this, you're conserving sends. So in a nutshell, be very mindful of ways to conserve sends so you can maximize the number of treasure hunts you'll get with those 83 sends per day. I hope this series on treasure hunting will help you earn more spark and upix through treasure hunting. Please subscribe to my channel for more upland tips. Comments and likes are always appreciated. Thanks for watching and good luck hunting. Thank you.